Okay guys, today I'm going to be soldering copper pipe. Copper pipe's not uh, used a whole lot, uh, very often, at least not in new houses, but it's full of the old houses here in Canada and the U.S. This is half inch copper pipe and I had a stub coming out to the wall here and I decided to get rid of it and so I've, I've uh, cut off the stubs with this um, pipe cutter. And, uh, this one works actually a little better if you have space to do it. And then uh, once cut, I've uh, put in a, an extra section of pipe here with a um, butt joint. Um, now, um, the most important thing about this is that you clean it up. Uh, so you take some sandpaper, this um, rolled sandpaper here, and you um, sand it off really um, well so that it's nice and shiny. And if you don't do that, you'll end up with a joint that doesn't uh, seal, and you don't want that. So once it's um, all sanded inside and out. Um, you slide the pipe into place and then put this um, solder paste on. And uh, the solder paste uh, allows the uh, silver solder to wick um, into the joint and create a, a, um, a nice clean joint. And so what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up with this um, propane torch and uh, then um, we'll uh, solder the joint. Very important you use lead-free solder in this situation. Uh, certainly you'd never use lead in a situation where the water might be used for drinking water. So you heat the pipe up. Copper conducts electricity really well. Here. Of course the water is off and there's no um, even drips of water in there. If there are drips of water what you can do is you can take a piece of bread and stuff it into the pipe and the bread absorbs the water long enough for you to get your joint done. And another important point is that you always remember what's behind you. You don't want to burn anything behind you. And so um, there was some insulation back here. I pulled it out of the way just to keep things clean. And it's a lot like uh, welding and brazing. You don't necessarily heat the exact spot you're going to be um, soldering. You heat beside it and the solder will um, uh, wick its way into the crack. You don't need a lot. side. You notice I don't need to go all the way around because it, it's the wick power is so strong it tends to draw itself in everywhere. Thanks for watching.